Yay, more grinding. Yay. Not in this game. Yes, but grinding can be fun too. I'm um, sure. Sometimes. Yeah, sure. The thing about That's this, you can, to go. you can leave it on auto, like Shin Megami Tensei or something. Yeah. I'm drawing a blank. You, you go, okay. go to your right. What are you doing? Let's see. Are you getting hundred coins? No. You should do it. I'm, I'm, I'll do it later. I will do it later. You went back to your favorite level. I did. <laughs> You're stuck. So you gotta... Where's the harp? Oh wait, that's the harp. By the way. Eh. Don't die. Oh, what a jerk. What, me? No, the purple guy. No. How do I get anywhere? Hold on. That's true. You have to press A and use your little wings, and you got little red wings, and they come off you and you fly higher. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. You should know this. You've played Banjo Kazooie before. <laughs> what if I run out of. <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay. That, that bullet bill wanted me. Yep. Okay, that was it. That was easy. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Is that is that sarcastic? <laughs> yeah, I, th I thought you I was about to run the guitar. Out of it. Yeah, I don't get it. There were no those, those were guitar picks underneath the guitar. Oh, was it? Yeah. No, I didn't see. Or I didn't recognize it. Too to too busy talking about grinding. Yes. Was I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but Bravely Default, you can be friggin' Night Ninjas and Ninja ninja Samurais and Pirate Ninjas. <laughs> like, now you why need... Not? I mean, why, why settle the debate? Which is better, Pirates versus Ninja? When you can be a Pirate Ninja. <laughs> and actually, it's a really good combination, by the way. What is this, Assassin's Creed 4? No. Better? Oh, okay. Assassin's Creed sucks. No. <laughs> Shots fired. Shots fired. I can't, I can't do the air horn noise. <laughs> yeah. Where am I going? No, I, I don't have anything against Assassin's Creed particularly, but it's just mediocre. It's like mediocre to good, whatever. And a lot of people like it. I'm gonna die. A lot of people like Call of Duty, so it's there. <laughs> it's like literally the same thing. Yeah. I think the same people who like Call of Duty like Assassin's Creed and stuff like that. Uh, if yeah. I had to guess. Yeah, that would, that would make sense to me. I mean, it's just... They're not bad games. Like, the storyline in Assassin's Creed is pretty good. Like, at least the ones that I've played so far, which is only one through Brotherhood yeah. or whatever. I've played one for about five minutes. One sucks. Uh, one just yeah. sucks. Yeah. Like, it's, like, the ideas and the premises school already got that star. I know. It said Metal Mario Meltdown, and there was lava in here, and I thought... Oh, okay. There would be a Metal Cat down here, but I remembered it's this thing. Yeah, like, Assassin's Creed 1, the only time you should play it is just so you can get the story, bef like, behind everything. And just, like, after that, just, just never play it. Will do. Like, just, just, like, bear with it, just only do the story. And then you'll be good. I don't know if I can do that. I like Assassin's Creed 2 actually fixes a lot of the problems that were in uh, the original. Like it adds a few more things to make it, you know, more bearable. Yeah. And the story's much better. And like the story mu being much better upon the slightly improved gameplay, it makes it a lot better. Mm. Oh, that was. And then you got like Brotherhood and Revelations. Oh, I forgot about Revelations. This a game? That's uh, apparently. <laughs> yeah, Brotherhood's probably the best one. Is that Assassin's Creed 2 and Brotherhood the best one? I played a little bit of four. Oh, I know. The ship combat is. I meant okay. of the old ones before they started making Assassin's Creed games every year. And they got they're, made, they're, they're already planning two Assassin's Creed games this year. I know it's freaking ridiculous. That's why I hate companies. <laughs> I hate companies that make games every year. I'm looking at you now, Tales of Games. <laughs> no. 
I mean, Walking Dead is better. What do you mean, Walking Dead? Did you say Tales uh, or Tales of, or he said? Did you no, say was, Tales of or Tell Tales? No, I was saying Tales of. Oh. Well, no, because like Tales of games before, like they made a game like every two years or something. Oh. I think. Well, they used to not make them as re uh, as much as they do now. Anyways. Like it, like I don't know. It seems like they're starting to make a little bit too many, at least to me, anyways. Uh, I thought you said Telltale's. I was like, no, because Telltale's is pretty good, pretty yeah. cool guys. I mean, as long as the the quality is consistent, I guess it's fine. But like, that's like ridiculous just to have. I don't know, just to pump that thing out. I mean, anything really. Yeah. I don't know if that was the way I was supposed to do that. Because I think this year, um, for Tales of games, I think uh, Tales of Exilia 2 um, is coming out soon, which I'm definitely getting that game. <laughs> and Tales of uh, the HD collection with Tales of Symphonia and Symphonia 2, whatever it's called, Dawn of the New World, like just recently came out. Yeah. I mean, I didn't get the HD collection because I already own the games. But yeah. <laughs> I mean, the original game. So I'm not going to go out of my way and buy it new. You should. No. And be a true gamer. No. I'll buy it when it's used. <laughs> Here we go! I'll buy it when it's $20. <laughs> Have fun waiting 20 years. No. It's more like half a year. <laughs> so, oh, and the, oh, and the Tales of Symphonia HD collection. The Tales of Symphonia game that they have isn't the GameCube one. It's freaking the Japanese-only PS2 game, which apparently had frame rate issues and stuff. Oh, good. So I was like, I think it ha I think the PS2 version does have like extra features though, which is cool. I think. Except that has frame rate issues. Yeah, it has frame rate issues. Yeah, and Tales of Symphonia is like is one of the best Tales of games. Its sequel's not good. It's like it's like tail it's like um, Final Fantasy X and Ten Two in that regard, where like the first one's good, but then the second one sucks. So why is two so, Ten Two so bad? It just it just is. <laughs> it just reused a lot of the things. There's no overworld anymore. It have like it has like a mission select type thing. Uh, that sounds stupid. Like the gameplay in Final Fantasy Ten Two is really good, but like everything else about it is not good. <laughs> Because the, ba the battle system in 10 was kind of like Final Fantasy V and stuff, kind of. You got like dress spheres where they change into clothes and they get like new jobs and abilities. Mm. I I've never played either, so I don't know. No, uh -oh. should play both. Well, you should play the other ones, the other ones first. So. <laughs> Final Fantasy is one of those series that like, yeah, they stopped being good after like 12. <laughs> Isn't 14 an MMO? Yes. Is that any good? Nope. Really? I mean, it's an MMO. I, mean, I can't count that as part of the main series. So it's something. Well, it's technically 14, so. I don't Whatever know. they lie. <laughs> There's Square Enix. It's not Square. It's not made by Square anymore. I don't know where these last two are. Yeah, I mean. I don't know. I think that's kind of what happened. Like, they just got bad after they merged. Like, Final Fantasy X was made after they merged, but, like, it was, like, right after they merged. So, like, Final Fantasy X was still good. Hmm. And then they made X-2 to, like, milk the success of X. And then that didn't turn out that well. And then twelve came out. Or, well, eleven was good. I mean, is an MMO, I guess. It's okay. But, but, um, I think eleven has cool ideas. And then, oh, I'm not even a cat. It's not the MMO. Screw it. <laughs> it's not even a Final Fantasy game. And then 13 happened. No, 12. What about 13 now? It sucks. Yeah, it's okay. That's about it. It's largely forgettable. <laughs> Dude, like, I played it and I, I don't even remember. Like, I remember things, but I don't remember in great detail. I just remember the long, never ending hallway. <laughs> <laughs> the never ending hallway. <laughs> Get claustrophobic. <laughs> Claustrophobia. Yeah. I don't know 
know where I'm going. Nope. Supposed to be Can you go attention. up there? You're supposed to be paying attention. I don't even know, but this is level. <laughs> We're in Iceland, right? Yep. Oh, you go near the arrow. It tells you to go through the wall. No. The wall's invisible. The wall is a lie. The wall is a lie. You go down here and you grab the one up. <laughs> the one that's by the star? Yes. Yes. I'd go down there. You don't know. There might be a metal. It's better than nothing, right? A what? A metal blade. Metal blade? Yeah, I might have a metal blade here. Is there a red coin? You might as well just collect all the red coins. That's what I'm doing. Wait. Oh. <laughs> Thought you were doing something with metal, man. No, I did that already. Oh, you did? Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't making it. <laughs> I thought you've been just wandering around looking for a metal box for like 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, though I am probably gonna get the 100 coins since I have like 87. Are you sure? Yeah. But red coins is harder to get. But I can still. What? But red coins, dude. What about red coins? They're harder to get. So? <laughs> so? I mean, what are you talking about? I mean, after you get the 100 red coins, you have to exit the level, right? No. No? No. Why don't we just do it all at once? That's what I'm trying to do. I mean, before. Cause lazy. Cause lazy. Oh, dude, it's a music note. All the coins will come out. Oh, I know where one of them is. I don't know where the last. Oh, one is. it's up here. I already got the one up here, but. Huh? All right, so it's that's in the Bowser painting. Nope. All right, so that's 100 coin star. I don't have to do Sweet. off screen. We have 75 star. Star get. Okay, Mario, let's cooperate with me. Oh yeah, do you know, like, about how Final Fantasy works, though? I don't know why you're talking about Final Fantasy. It's nope. kind of like freaking Final Fantasy. <laughs> no. I was saying, but you know what's cool about the franchise, though, in general? Mm. Um, if you, if you know how they work or not. I don't. Did you know that every Final Fantasy game's, like, gameplay is vastly different from the next, pretty much? Uh, nope. Yep, that's how it works. All of them are pretty much vastly different, which is pretty cool, actually. That's cool. It's good, and then it screwed them over. <laughs> it's good until it screwed them over. to like, 12, 13. Oh, this one sucks. Oh, I'll let you do it. No. Okay. <laughs> How do I do this? You grab on that, and have fun. Here. <laughs> <laughs> so about that Final Fantasy. Well, no, I'm just saying because it's like if we fall off, Something, then we'd have to wait all the way. You know, yeah, that's what we would have to do. Anyway. Yeah, but anyways, like about the Final Fantasy. What are you fucking? Let's talk about Shin Megami Tensei. Uh, Tales of. About how about that Persona? No. <laughs> <laughs> how about that Shin Megami Tensei Crossfire? <laughs> that's not coming ever. That's gonna be awesome. I, I will probably buy that game when it comes out. Oh, uh, dude, you've never played the newest fi uh, Fire Emblem. Nope. Oh, uh, dude, it's awesome. I never played any of the Fire Emblems. Oh, uh, you should. Oh, I mean, uh, yeah, you should. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, like, the newest one is probably, like, one of the best, though. Like, period. So should I just play that one and ignore the others? No. Okay. You shouldn't do that for anything. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't really have any interest in the series, so I don't know. Well, if, if I had to recommend any of them, I'd recommend, like, two or three of them, or particularly two. The one with Roy in it, and the one with, um, the new one. Like, the new one does everything right. Like, I don't know if you knew the story about that. Um, Nintendo was like, um, we haven't made any Fire Emblems for a while, and if this one doesn't sell well, then we're just gonna cancel the whole franchise. So, what uh, the people at Fire Emblem who made it, they were just like, Okay, we're gonna pump in all of our ideas, everything we've ever wanted to put in a Fire Emblem game, we're just gonna do it. This is gonna be the last thing. And then the game started, the game came out, and it was amazing. 
It's on 3DS. I know, I know what it's, it's on, but oh, yeah. I never, I never really played it. Yeah, but yeah, they put everything into it that they wanted to, and it turned out. It, it's easily one of the best uh, games on the candle. Like, I got it because... Because it's Fire Emblem? No. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of Fire Emblem. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan anyway. It's like, I like it, but I just don't... I just don't... I haven't I haven't played as many Fire Emblems games. I haven't played them all. I've played a lot of them, though. <sighs> That's actually really hard. I'm glad I got that on the first try. Yeah. The one on GameCube's not good, though. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. <laughs> that was random. Is, it, is that the one with Ike in it? Yeah. That one's not good. Or at least, I don't remember it being that good. Like, I don't even think I finished it. I, I have it, but I haven't played it all the way through. Like, I've had it forever. Like, I wanted to replay it again because of Fire Emblem Awakening. But I played Fire Emblem Awakening to death. So... <laughs> Like, I think I got almost 100%, or I got, like, most of the things done. Which I don't get every game to 100%. <laughs> Only if it's good enough. Or something. I, yeah. I, I, or do, I do it the best I can, and then I, if I like it enough, I'll go back and get everything. Or something. Or there's, a, there's a lot of stipulations for me <laughs> when it goes to things like that. I don't know. It has to be very specific for me to get 100% something. Like, some games are just there to screw you over to get 100%. They're like, oh, well, you have to play the whole game over again. <laughs> no, already yeah, did it. Yeah, no, I don't like games like that. Yeah, and like, Shin Megami Tensei and, like, Tails Up games, like, unless you're using a walkthrough, I have no idea how you're supposed to get 100%. At all. Because, like, like, there's side quests and stuff. It's, like, very cryptic. Like, they changed it in Shin Megami Tensei 4. Like, it's not cryptic, but Tales of Game is freaking cryptic. But I do want to go back and, like, play some of the Tales of games and get 100% on them via a guide. <laughs> Just because that'd be pretty awesome. Because you miss out on, like, so cool things. Like, there's a lot of cool, like, events and stuff that happen in Tales of games that, like, you can't get unless you... Freaking like look up a guide, basically. I mean, if somebody can prove me wrong in the comments and like tell me, is there a legit way of actually getting 100% in a Tales of game that I'm not aware of? Of course there is. Okay, you now just have, you it. just have to do this and this and yeah. some of that. No, no. Oh, you know what they want you to do in those games to get 100% though? Mm -hmm. Like. You think it would be easy, like, I don't know, in other RPGs, like, it's usually like, okay, we have side quests hidden in the same town you're in or something. But Tales of games are like, okay, you're, you're like three-fourths of the game, so for example, and then it's like, oh, go back to the first town you ever went to, go back to the fifth town you ever went to, and talk to this random guy in the alleyway, <laughs> and he'll give you a, a quest where your females wear me costumes. <laughs> That's a thing in most Tales game, actually. Okay. There's like a maid costume or something for the female character. And like butler outfits for the male character. That doesn't surprise me. Yeah, there's a lot of like weird stuff like that. They, like all the secret costumes, all the optional costumes, are pretty much all like secret side quest stuff. And they're also, like, time-specific. Like, if you don't get them at this specific time, you'll lose it. Oh, that's stupid. That's, that's what I mean, too. It's gay. Yeah, I know. So it's like you gotta have, like, a guy, like, right next to you. Um, I think Tales of, um, Exilia. Yeah. I think that one wasn't like that. I'm pretty sure it wasn't like that. Like, you can actually go back and, like, complete things. Mm. Like, I'm pretty sure I got, I got 100% in that game. I don't even think I was level 99 either. But, um... Yeah, but, like, all the other Tales of games are like that. Like, Tales of Graces? Yeah. Like, yeah, I think you remember me showing you that game. Yep. It's pretty fun, I thought. Like, Tales of Graces? 
F. Like that game, I think I looked up on a guide or something because I was trying to get some trophies and stuff. Mm. And this is like, ridiculous. That was the like that was the only Tales game I actually have experience of getting 100% using a guide. It wasn't very fun. I mean, I'm sure it would be fun now, or it would be doable now. Like, like you just read on your cell phone. Yeah. Because I would just like I have to, like keep coming over here to my computer. <laughs> I have to read like every minute detail. I almost died. Yeah, I know. I don't know what this last door is. Oh, it's up there. Dude, we got 80 stars. Yeah, we do. How many stars are there? 120, 30. Oh, dude, we're close. We have 80 stars. After this one, we can go fight Final Bowser. Really? We could if we wanted. Let's do it. Do you want it? No. Okay. I say we should end the video here, though. Okay. So next time, we'll just figure out what we're going to do. Probably more Fire World.